I miss Singapore a lot. You know, um, going going away from my home and where I was born. And I grew up as a kid. It was very hard for me. I was only 13 years old, and as a young kid, to leave all your friends, all your family members, to come halfway across the world to a place where you've never been before by yourself, that was that was a huge step in my life. Sometimes in the pool, it really gets me away from like everything. You know, like when I'm in there, I can kind of be by myself and some just not worry about it, kind of relaxing. school academically and um, sporting wise so the teachers are really understanding juggling swimming in school here um, they make it a lot easier now year by year goes by and uh, I love the place more and more right now you know I've made a lot of close friends here a lot of good people and you know leaving here is gonna be very sad now, that's my goal you know winning an Olympic gold medal that's always been my dream and my aspiration as a kid. You know, every day I come here and work, I get into the pool, I drag myself to practice in the morning for that, you know, to give myself a chance to win an Olympic gold medal. You know, if I practice by myself, it'd be very boring, but having you know, like 40, 50 kids next to you doing the same thing, going through what you're going through, really helps me. He was 13 when he came. It was, um little child and uh, in a totally different culture with a guy from a totally different culture. You know? So you come to America, live in a boarding school and then you have a coach that thinks very different than the American people. We do a lot of high quality things. You know, he tells you to do a fast, like a fast hundred. And you could go slow, you know, and it wouldn't be hard. But it's not only hard on you um, physically, but also mentally. It's not so much about the volume. It's so much, it's about teaching them to understand that some days when you think you can, you really can. I could be a normal teenage kid, you know, do normal teenage things, go out with friends, stay up late on the weekends, you know, do all those kind of things, but I can't. And sometimes it sucks, but you know, it's the life, uh, life that you've chosen when you're a kid. And for me right now, I've made so many sacrifices that I can't look back. Zareen Sarwar. Joseph Isaac Schooling. today is attributed to them and they're the reason that you know I can be here that I've come this far thank you for your support and you know whatever I do um, I'm trying to do the best I can and you know when I step on the blocks it's really an honor to represent Singapore and to know that all you guys are behind me so thank you for your support and I'll continue doing my best